Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're going to look at another example of our tangent ratio and more unknown sides. We want to see, can we again use that idea of the tangent ratio to help us solve for the unknown side of a right triangle. Now on this triangle here, I see that my slope angle is 41 degrees. I see that my opposite side here from the 41 degrees is 7, which means that 7 is my delta Y. And that means down here on this horizontal side where the variable Y is, that Y here is my delta X. So we want to see, can we set up our tangent ratio to help us solve for this unknown side Y? So let's get going. We want to first write out tangent of our angle. Our slope angle here that we're using is 41 degrees. And then we're going to set that equal to the slope of the triangle. Remember, slope of the triangle, delta Y over delta X. In this case, my delta Y here is 7 over my delta X, which in this case is my Y. This is going to follow the same path that our other video started with. And we're going to put the tangent of 41 degrees over a value of 1. We do that, so now we have two fractions equal to each other. And our next step is that we can cross multiply these. So I'm going to multiply y times tangent of 41. That ends up becoming y times tangent of 41 degrees. That's equal to 7 times 1. So on this side of the per equal sign, I'm left with just a 7. Now again, my goal here is to get y by itself. Well, right now, y is multiplying tangent of 41 degrees. So I will just have to take both sides of this equation and divide it by tangent of 41 degrees. I do that because these tangent of 41 degrees will reduce to a 1. They cancel. And so I'm left with over here that y just equals 7 divided by tangent of 41 degrees. Now is the point where we want to get our calculator, enter this expression in, and see what the value of that missing side is. So let's go ahead. So with my graphing calculator here from Desmos, I can go ahead and enter the expression in of 7 divided by tangent of 41 degrees. So a double check that your calculator is in degree mode and not radian mode. And let's go ahead and enter that. I'm gonna go ahead and click my fraction button here so that I can create my fraction of seven over tangent of 41. I'll go ahead and type the seven on top. On the bottom here, I will type in tangent of 41 degrees. Here's my tangent button. And inside I will type in 41 degrees. And out with my output, I see that y is going to equal 8.05. The 5 makes the 2 round to a 3. So 8.053. So I now know that that missing side has a value of 8.053. That is the missing side of my right triangle. Now you might be thinking, on the other video, we had to multiply the side with the tangent, and on this case, we're now dividing. Well, I'm here to tell you that when you're setting up your tangent ratio, if your variable is in the denominator, your answer you will have to divide by tangent. But if that variable is in the numerator, then for your answer, you end up multiplying by the tangent ratio. So be sure that you're setting up your slope correctly so that you can get the correct answer. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.